<clears throat> What's up guys, I got another Razor Edge Pro video for you. Um, today we're going to be checking out Neo because uh, last time I installed this game was uh, when it first came out. And I actually didn't do a video tutorial in terms of uh, the settings and everything. Um, and it didn't play good anyway, but since then there's been a lot of optimizations and updates and you know GPU updates and so forth. So we're going to get into that and uh, the settings that I use for it. Uh, but first I just wanted to give a shout out to my friend Logan. He got me this brand new Razer Edge controller. Brand new. Which is so cool. Um, yeah, thanks Logan. This helps me out a lot. You know, my other controller, which is this, was doing it for me. But the only thing is this button kind of snapped off like two years ago. I've been using it without it, but, um, you know, that's pretty much the only thing that's wrong with this. Uh, other than the battery is kind of locked in there too. If you can see this, it got like, uh, I guess from the heat of the Razor Edge Pro or something, it got jammed in there. I tried to carve it out, but so the battery is kind of stuck in there. Um, unless somebody figures out some kind of solution to that. I'm probably going to post it up on the internet. Uh, other than that, there's nothing else wrong with it. Um, this battery issue, I mean, ba not battery. Um, this button missing, but uh, I have the button and I kind of decaled it up with uh, a Vampire Freak sticker and a Cowboy Bebop uh, PS3 decal uh, That I bought just to put on there and have something else on there But other than that, oh, and I put some tape at the bottom here because the power port, the power cord kept uh, Falling out while I was using it and that wasn't fun uh, Strangely enough, and I had this for like probably three years or four years that controller strangely enough this new one not only does it stay inside and doesn't fall out every two seconds which means I don't have to put anything there to stop it but uh, yeah everything's completely solid brand new and uh, and it actually it's, it's very difficult to get used to using all the buttons because I'm so used to using that controller which is missing the R2 trigger the R trigger um, Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks for lo to Logan, and uh, if you want to check out his um, eBay page, he sells a lot of Razer stuff, and uh, if you guys are in the market for a Razer Edge controller or a Razer Edge, keep an eye on his uh, page. We have to do is Google Logan sells things. I'll put the link in the description, and then it'll go right to his eBay page. So this is his page here. Okay. So... Yeah, he he sells a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, um, razor stuff. Uh, it looks like right now he doesn't have anything at the moment, but uh, keep an eye on his page, and you'll see that he sells a lot of things that uh, might randomly come up, uh, razor related things. Yeah. So, um, anyway, enough of that. Let's get to Neo and see how it runs with the new update. Okay, so first of all, there is a uh, resolution resolution patch for Neo, which I did um, apply. Um, not resolution patch, but a resolution hack, uh, which I applied. And basically what it does is it lets you use resolutions that's not here. Um, currently, they only have, uh, they have a 1080p. And, you know, they don't have any lower resolution. So what the resolution patch does, it replaces this resolution, 1920 by 1080 p with uh, 640 by 480 internal resolution. So that really helps out in performance. Uh, but the patch does say to put rendering resolution on high. Oops, sorry. The patch says put rendering resolution on high and 1920 by 1080. So I guess it replaces that factor of the um, thing. And then launch it and then I'll show you guys my internal settings now for whatever reason it automatically goes to windowed so I always change it after it loads up and we're gonna see some gameplay um, hopefully it doesn't take too long to load because I only got five minutes let me hit the light so you guys can see clearer without the glare okay now there's a few things we can do if you know it it doesn't run perfectly obviously um because this is a two gigabyte gpu and you can see when you go to task manager that it's 
maxed out like it's using the full two gigs and struggling at 99 percent um but as you can see the internal resolution you can tell from the aspect ratio uh i mean from the size of the words and everything uh, and in reference to the screen size that this is running in internal resolution and menus and 640 by 480 uh, that's the only way I can get this to run as smooth as possible now we go to graphics here we change this to full screen okay and then you we change this to 60 frames per second put the shadows on low I don't know why I have to do that every time I turn it on but it's a thing okay and then for the most part you will notice that it runs in 60 frames per second I mean well the menu let's get to the actual game where I'm up to so you guys can watch me uh, die because I'm not very good at this game and uh, excuse my voice today I have a sore throat that's why I haven't been really doing videos lately um, might be coming down with a cold or something hopefully not all right now this is the best performance I've gotten out of it so far which is as you can see is playable and actually some areas it, it jumps up to 60 frames per second uh, you can see it I mean I don't know if you guys will be able to see it but because I don't have the frame frames uh, on here but you can't actually play it and enjoy it <laughs> now we do get frame drops um, I noticed that no matter what I do, no matter what settings I do, in terms of resolution, I can turn the resolution down to 320 by 240 internal game resolution, and it doesn't make a difference in terms of performance. So it's definitely something else going on, and it's not a resolution issue. But this, at this resolution, is the best, is the best performance I've gotten, and the best looking, without having to go to uh, 320 by 240, which is really bad and fuzzy as you see I'm not very good at this but I'm good at dodging and that's half the battle but yeah at this time I would say this is very playable if you're willing to get past through the stutter and I'm gonna show you why it's stuttering in a minute if I have time Unfortunately, I have very little bit of time to do this video. It's only 10 minutes, but um, let's see if I can get outside. You can really tell the performance when you get outside because uh, actually outside, strangely enough, you would expect it to play worse. It actually plays better and smoother outside, if that makes any sense. Well, you know what? I wanted to go here and save it. Let me try to run past all these guys and get outside. Oh, uh, no, this is a dead end. I thought this was outside. Guess outside this way. I went out. I, I made it outside once in this game. But as you see, it is not running perfectly. Um... I have to look up some maybe speed patches or something and see if there's other options that we can exploit um, but I, I've been through the character files and everything I haven't seen anything worth mentioning anyway my time is running out guys but I'll make another video further in the game Thanks for watching.